For nearly six decades, he has been at the heart of his community. He's been informing, he's been engaging, he's been shining a light on some of the biggest issues of the day. And now the iconic publisher of the Bay State Banner of this newspaper is passing the torch to a new generation. I sat down with Mel Miller as he reflected on his legacy and looked to the future of the mission that he started. Did you have an office at We met Mel Miller. My hair okay, it is. What's left of it. Distinguished, as always, at the Bay State Banner. It's very difficult to, to be a, a good publisher because you have to know which items to write about. You have to know how to write about them effectively. In his final hours as owner? Let me see. After nearly 60 years. This is the last banner with my name in it. It's right there, page four. Publisher and editor, Melvin Miller. That's it. The Banner is his baby. Born in 1965, a paper for Boston's black community, shaped by lessons he learned at the family table. My father used to say, it's not the color, it's the culture. The Banner was supposed to be an avocation for Miller, but what happened is the battle over civil rights got more vigorous. Is this Boston a better Boston, or was that Boston a better Boston? That Boston was a better Boston. In a world where smaller papers are dying off, the banner is free once a week. Why now? Why is the Bay State banner changing hands now? Well, because it's time for me to step down. He is, after all, 88. Also, he says when it comes to technology, he's out of school. Is it hard to let it go? No. Not, not, you know, <laughs> if you ask the people, it was, I maintained it because as a burden, and it was almost like a priesthood. You know, priests don't get rich. They do perform service. And the banner does. Mel is proud to say he's done it all without calling anyone names. This is the new owner. The banner will go on with new owners who honor Mel's legacy. He's a cherished asset of our community. He stood in the breach and told the truth to everybody whether you liked it or not. That's Today, right. that's, that's the last time you'll see that in print. He's passing it on. And that makes you proud, sad. I did my duty. And when you look back, I did it right and did it well. He did it right. He did uh, it well. He can still do it. Yes, that last image, Ed, powerful. Walking into his office. By the way, Mitchell Stark Enterprises is, as we mentioned, the new owner of the banner. You, you heard from the new publisher, Ron Mitchell, who you saw in there. He's a longtime local journalist with deep ties to the community. So yeah. it's, it's theme, it's lifeblood, it's pulse will continue. And it was important to Mel that the banner remain true to its roots as it looks into the future. What a great story. So what a great a, man. I love a, that. Yeah, powerful yep. man.